So, as you may know, I am a big user of CoReader. I've installed CoReader on all my e-readers that can run CoReader, even all my Android versions of e-readers and also Android tablets and so on. I have CoReader on all those and it's a nice feature to have. CoReader is very customizable and so on. It's a bit fiddly though for beginners and you have a lot of stuff you can do with it. And also one huge drawback for me, at least, I can't seem to get exactly the book fonts and uh, typefaces and uh, settings that the author wants me to have with CoReader. It's very hard to turn off every customization in CoReader when reading so you don't have uh, the exact way of reading as the author wants you to. So for example, all these uh, nifty, uh, let's go to my scene cam here. You see here, these kinds of thing, uh, the first character are larger and in another font and so on. Uh, these kinds of thing you can't easily do in CoReader. You need to hack CSS and so on to get all these kinds of stuff. So I want to have those things as um, near what the author wants me to have. So I've started experimented again with the original Kobo UI instead of uh, CoReader on my Kobo devices. And uh, I think that's uh, a really nice way reading books in the original Kobo UI instead of CoReader actually. So I get everything I want actually in Kobo UI, you see how many minutes left in the chapter, you get how many hours left of the book, you have a bar down here showing how much you have read of the book and everything. And it's really, really fast turning pages and I can use Atkinson hyper legible next font on it very easily. And also uh, the dictionary works really great. So, and also the dictionary works great and it's so fast. You, you can have the dictionary open immediately. For example, this word, you see, it works directly. It opens the word directly. So it's so fast. So you, you hardly notice any lag or waiting time to see your dictionary. So I really love that way of reading. And it's so fast turning uh, the page up, upside down and so on. So I think this is a really nice way of reading. You have a very good UI for reading with the Kobo original UI. The only drawback compared to CoReader, except for all the customizations you can do in CoReader, uh, is actually syncing sideloaded books. You need to buy all your books in the Kobo store to have them sync between your uh, devices. And that's a huge drawback because uh, if you buy books, for example, on bookus.com here in Sweden, then you can't um, you sideload them on this and have them sync to my Kobo Clara, for example, or my iPhone in the Kobo app, they don't sync. And that is unfortunate, I think, because uh, Kobo should definitely see if they can sync those two, because uh, you are allowed to buy books from any store, really, and just put them on your e-reader. Because in Sweden, for example, where I live, you can buy books without DRM. So if I buy a book on bookers.com, it doesn't have DRM. So I can put that book on any device I want to read it. And I can do that, yes, on this Kobo, but I can't sync it to another device. So I can sync my reading progress, my highlights or notes between my devices. And that's a bit unfortunate, but not many users have more than one e-reader. Uh, I have, as you know, 14, 15, 16 e-readers maybe. But if you only have one, for example, this Kobo Libra, then you can just use this device for all your readings and you don't need to sync. You don't even need to have network on. So you can put all your books with a cable on this from Calibre, for example, in K-pub format <laughs> that the Kobo devices uh, uses. And you have all your books of, uh, 
always with you wherever you go. So you can have all those and you don't need to sync because you have only one device. So this is a really, really old Kobo Libra H2O and it still works great. Great battery life and I have had this for many, many years and it still works great with the Kobo UI. I have no problem whatsoever with this device. It works great. And I really love the Kobo UI actually. You don't need more features than this. Actually, you don't. But as I said, I'm a highly big user of CoReader, of course. And uh, I just want to experiment to see the difference if uh, some users doesn't um, want to fiddle with CoReader and have all those features for CoReader uh, and all the syncing and all other stuff you can do with it. Maybe just the Kobo UI is enough for those users. And I think it is because everything else you have if you just want to read, then I think Kobo UI is more than enough. Okay, bye.